the one side you have a very poke heavy, kite heavy uh, fanatic that's really good at walking back. Think of Ezreal's Mystic Shots, think of Morgana's Dark Bindings, think of Cho'Gath's kite potential if he lands those ruptures. A slightly different fight, but we could see some engages happen. Febivin knocks Betsy into the river. Betsy does not have access to a Spirit Rush yet. Orbit Deception goes up. Betsy still not level 6. Reynov has got the support of Huni. Has another flash from Diamond Prox. Keeps him alive. No soul shackles here for Yellowstar. Two members of Gambit inside. Pulverize was used. Trying to find an engage. Double flash. Respect. Because Cavashard joined the party. If we go back a couple of minutes, that teleport advantage comes in. Aggressive Gambit. Aggressive Diamond Prox. And the first dragon goes down for Gambit. Either he'll get hit by the rupture or juke back into your jungler, following up. Rupture lands. Well, this time around it does. Silence lands. Silence come out as well. Rainover's looking for another knockup. Cabba shot instantly flashing. First blood to Rainover, and that just looked really quite easy. That's revenge on the bot lane. Reckless flash is up though. Well, Yellowstar does not manage to get off the black shield. That's very, very late. Goes to Pepper, throws down the unbreakable will. He's in fact been exhausted, as has Reckless. Rainover was trying to cut off Diamond and Reckless gets the second kill of the game. Vendivin doesn't have level 11. He's going in for Betsy. Betsy gets knocked under the tower once more. It's the same combo. What a fantastic binding from Yellowstar. Several events. Yellowstar might be finding himself between a fat man and an angry bull. Pulverized up, barreled back, and headbutted for further distance. That's going to be a dead Yellowstar. Green over it, though. Huh? He doesn't know, he doesn't know. He's just going for the gank on Betsy on the bot lane and... Betsy? I think he's in trouble, Crepo. I think so too. What CC can land? Soul Shackles comes out. I think he broke the tether though. Not gonna be enough. Things going on on the bot lane. We're gonna see some action. Reckless caught. Well, he does manage to flash away. Here comes Rain over. That's a flash forward from Cabochard. The knockup keeps Cabochard in place. A silence onto Diamond. They've traded one for one. He's got that Seraph's Embrace upgraded. Dragon. Diamond Fox going in. Reckless hiding in plain sight. Gets caught. Double knockup. Forgiven with the dunk! Reckless was hiding on a ward. Diamond Prox says, okay guys, watch this. Consecutive dragon in the game. A double their numbers of dragons for the split. Bebevin's gonna try survive this one. He's gonna use the conquering shifting sands over the wall. Flash for flash. Black Shield comes up, but it's not enough. Yellowstar has landed the binding and the soul shackles. He's gonna hold Betsy in place. We've seen the, the Nomad's medallion giving the movement speed from the talisman rather. And it's going to be rain over that secures the final hit. One for one. I'll tell you afterwards. Moving their way. But Cabochon hasn't left yet. He has teleport. This is secured. This is secured. Cabochon too late. Beast. And push you back. Tower's dropping. Black Shield's been used from Yellowstar. Tower's going down. Cambit unable to initiate. The Flash Pulverize comes down. They get Feverbin and Reckless. Reckless gets caught by the charm. He's taken out by Betsy. Here comes the teleport from Huni. He's thrown down the silence and Diamond is knocked up. Keep your eyes on Cabo shot. He wants to clean up the fight. Reckless is down and Gambit are going to hold on to their base for now. There's no one here from Fnatic. Oh, I lied. They've caught Rain over. Well, he Jumped came in. The jungle flashes to the tunnel. So at least he's made it out alive. No smites. I think that dragon should be secured by the time we look at it. No! Not been focused down by Gambit. But nobody from Fnatic challenging Crapo. See whether or not they continue this. You can see Huni was thinking about it. Use it that much. Oh, has it? Knock up on Cabo Shot. Huni's flashed forward. Charm. But he's alone. Eats a charm instantly. Rest of Fnatic most likely. Not gonna get there in time. On the hunt comes out. Rainover gets rooted in place. Black Cabo Shards up. Cabo Shards found yellow stop, but Reckless and Forgiven are alive. We do see Febivin going back in with the conquering sand. Now Cabo Shards knocked up. Huni looking for a target to feast. Can he find Cabo Shot? He's decided to turn around and I think he feasted Diamond down. We see Gosu Pepper going out as Forgiven follows suit. Cabo Shot forced to run as Febivin's sand soldiers are commanded to attack and they take him down. Double kill and Fnatic get a four for one fight. Good Emperor's Divide to reset the fight. Reckless uses entire mana pool in that fight. Oh, we see the teleport. Did he switch to home guards? No, he's not. Find out. Gambit are looking to engage. Rain over. Caught rain over. Rain over's flashed awake. Diamond Fox gonna body slam back. Now Huni looking for a rupture. Does not connect with anybody. Nor does the Feral scream. It looks like Fnatic have control of the Dragon Pit and they're going to secure their first dragon of the game. Fnatic well, still like Barris. Pepper going in. Black Shield is going to keep Reckless alive and Gosu's in trouble. He sidesteps the True Shot Barrage and skill shots go wide. Charm dodge, Dark Binding dodge. 
Gambit doing everything they can to survive here. Unbreakable is on cooldown. They've caught Rain over out, but he's happy to take shots because Fnatic have got the tower. As well, especially if you're running a full kite single position. On the hunt gets popped. Now remember, Betsy's not there. The explosive cask has been used, and that didn't do a lot. Those headbutts in the pole. Okay, right. spotted on a flank. He's going in. Well, we do see the black shield. This time, not going to work. Yellow Star forced to go back, but Emperor's Divide says this lane is much thinner. Beast is used on our star. He's looking for the flank, doesn't find his target, and Rainover is now on the wrong side of the jungle. He's gonna tunnel away. That's a flash forward for Diamond Frogs. He really wants Rainover's hide. And if Bosu Pepper headbutts him to Ooh. another tunnel. Small mistake, but it's very impactful. Forgiven gets Ooh. taken down as Rainover re-engages with the Void Rush. He gets a knockup onto Cabochard, and it's Reckless that gets a double kill. Fnatic with a three for zero. I finally punish it. Fight again, so incredibly close. And with the death time as being 40 seconds, Fnatic have set their sights on the Nexus turrets. It looks like they can finally close this game out. Betsy, however, does land a charm. He's not done yet. It looks like he will be shortly, though, as he's gone in with the Spurrow Rush. The rest of Fnatic focus down the turrets. They're focusing down the Nexus. And in week two, 0-4 given. Gambit have lost all of their games, while Fnatic have won them all.